there's the bell. It's been in storage for 25 years. As you drive west of Knox on 100 South, or Culver Road as we sometimes call it, you will come to the intersection of 250 East. The southwest corner of this intersection is a vacant lot now, but years ago it was filled with children's voices as this was the location of the Desert D School. Officially, it was known as Center Township School District 1. The school was built in 1875 and used until 1911. At one time, Stark County had 62 of these one-room schools. They were spaced about four miles apart, so students didn't have to walk more than two miles to school each day. In 1911, Center Township consolidated all these district schools, and because students lived a lot farther than two miles from school, school buses or, or hacks were used to transport the students to school. Each of these small room schools had a bell that was used to call the children to school each day. When the Desert East School was torn down, Grace Schelling saved the bell. She had been a student at the Desert East School years before and lived north and west of the school. I'm Alice Tukolsky. My mother was Grace Schilling. She went to Desert East School, and when it was torn down, she rescued this bell. It was to call the children to school in the morning. You, you have um, had the bell for quite some time here. Your mother had the bell for years, and uh, when uh, your family moved back to Indianapolis, um, you, uh, you, you used the bell, didn't you? Tell us about that. Yes, I did. Well, it was mounted on our back porch, and I called my children whenever I needed them by ringing the bell. My eldest son was one ring of the bell, the second was two rings, and the third was three rings, and that's how I got them home from wherever they were. Now, did they always come when you rang the bell? Yes. Okay. <laughs> They knew better not to, right? Well, it was dinner usually, so <laughs> they oh. wanted to come and eat. <laughs> okay. Um, and, and then you gave your bell to your oldest son, Kurt? Yes. And with the intentions that he might use it for his children? Yes, he was thinking of doing the same thing with it. And did he do that? No, he didn't. Oh, he didn't. <laughs> okay. And so, Kurt, you've, you've had this bell uh, stored at your place then near Philadelphia for years then. And it turned out that our neighborhood was not really particularly suited for the use of the bell the way it had been when I was a child. So we ended up not doing that. Uh, yes, it was, it's just been stored for a number of years. Uh, not really being appreciating its history until until recently when we got to talking about it and decided that maybe it should return to its home.